They were the kingmakers of the music scene. And in 1764, they'd already anointed their superstar of the season. His angelic voice had made all of London swoon, and he'd helped to revive Italian opera, making it the most fashionable music of the day. He was the great castrato singer, Giovanni Manzuoli. Wolfgang and his father went along to see him star in the opera Adriano in Syria. And opera singer Randall Scotting knows exactly what they would have witnessed. Apparently he had quite a beautiful, sweet voice. It was defined as clear and brilliant. But the thing that really struck the audience was how loud his voice was. It was often described as voluminous. So we have Manzuoli, the smooth Italian superstar. <laughs> he hoovers up all the money and the success of the season, really, doesn't he? That's true. And I think Leopold Mozart found it a bit more difficult than he expected when he came to London. He writes a, a letter to his friend and says that Manzuoli is the only person who's actually making any money this season. And his fee for the season was 1,500 pounds, which at the time was an exorbitant sum. To put it into context, a maid in London would have made six pounds per year. While Leopold saw Manswoli as a dangerous rival, Wolfgang was entranced. And he pestered his father to see the great singer whenever the chance arose. And Manswoli too became intrigued by the prodigy. They became great friends, apparently. The, the admiration was very mutual. I think Mozart saw Manzuoli on stage and was quite taken with his presentation. But Manzuoli, likewise, was quite interested in the young prodigy, Mozart. And uh, he offered him voice lessons and became a friend of the family while the Mozarts were in London. And that's a friendship that continued to thrive. To become friends with a superstar like Manzuoli had a profound influence on the young Mozart. As he became tutored in the intricacies of writing for The Voice, Wolfgang would later cast Manzuoli as the lead in one of his earliest operas, Ascanio in Alba. But as the applause rang around his ears, Leopold Mozart was sure that his son could rival Manzuoli for success on the London stage. 